<laughs> Let's see. What will I learn about today? Oh! Whales! Ah! They're adorable! I want to hold one! Whee! Ah! Hey, BioFriend! Tell me about whales! How can something so big exist? Hello to you too, Cosmo. Hmm, I've never really thought about it. What if you could go inside a whale and investigate? Simulation activated. Here I go. Whales are perfectly adapted for life in an aquatic habitat. Their nostrils, or blowholes, are located on the top of their heads. Whales are covered in a thick layer of insulating blubber to keep them warm in the cold water. And instead of fingers, they have flippers for swimming. Let's investigate the biggest animal in the world, the blue whale. Whoa! A blue whale's tongue weighs as much as an elephant. Its heart is the size of a small car. And its blood vessels are so wide that a human could squeeze through them. Oops! Instead of teeth, blue whales use baleen to catch their food. The whale sucks in a huge volume of water and shrimp-like krill into its mouth and then uses its huge tongue to push the water through hundreds of baleen plates. The krill are trapped and swallowed and the water is released back into the ocean. The whale will trap and eat up to 40 million krill each day. I won't fit. The whale's throat is only 10 inches across. Hmm, I need a different whale. How about the sperm whale? This whale is so big that it's supporting a whole community of animals. Whale lice eat algae growing on the whale's skin. The barnacles attached to this whale filter food from the passing water. One healthy humpback whale had 992 pounds of barnacles growing on it. The sperm whale is the largest toothed whale. They are master divers, often reaching depths of 2,000 feet. And their hunting trips can last over 45 minutes. These carnivores feast on deep water squid, sharks, and fish. If you went inside the sperm whale's mouth, you would immediately see the cone-shaped teeth on the bottom jaw. But look up. There are no teeth on the top. Instead, there are sockets where the teeth fit in. Sperm whales use their teeth to catch food, but they can't chew. This means they swallow their food whole. Whee! Down I go! The next part is very dark. If you squeezed down the whale's throat, you would end up in its multi-part stomach. The first stomach is made up of very tough muscle, which crushes food. The second stomach whee, has lots of room to hold food. The third stomach secretes the juices that digest the food. If you traveled through the intestine, you would eventually yuck, come out as poop. When whales poop, they spread nutrients across the top layer of the ocean. These nutrients act like fertilizer and feed microscopic plants called phytoplankton. And phytoplankton are the foundation of the ocean food web. I'm glad you went into the whale and not me, Cosmo. Ugh, the things I do in the name of science. Bye, Cosmo! Hmm, which chapter should I research next? Cosmo! Hey, everyone! Cosmo here! 
The blue whale is the largest animal to ever live on planet Earth. What if you drew a life-sized whale to see how big it really is? Step one, find an adult. Step two, gather your supplies. You'll need some chalk, a picture of a whale, and a tape measure. Step three, find a large paved outdoor space, like the sidewalk or a playground. Step four, with the tape measure, measure out the length of a blue whale. 100 feet. Step five, using the picture of the whale as a guide, draw the outline of the whale. Step six, add some details to your whale, like its eyes, fins, and tail. Step seven, stand at opposite ends of the drawing and see how long 100 feet really is. Happy exploring and I'll see you next time on What If Kids. Goodbye!